fence, I believe, is no different than anybody else you can go around and probably no different than people in other neighborhoods. Virginia Nesbitt has lived in her home for 19 years. 19 years in the same place. The fence was here when I bought it. So she was surprised last week to get a citation in the mail, saying she needed a permit for a fence over six feet. I asked the inspector, how come I'm just getting this now? And she says, well, you're lucky. You, or you've been lucky that you haven't gotten one before now. And I'm like, in this neighborhood, there's nothing unusual about an eight foot fence. You can look all the way down the alley. Fences are pretty much the same height. Two doors down. All the way to the top, it's eight foot eight inches. Dr. Marcialo Kendo received a citation too. Everyone's already kind of mad about it, so when I got it, I was also mad about it because I was like, we just moved here. A city of Dallas spokesperson confirmed a code inspector conducting a proactive patrol last month noted a lot of tall fences and cited 21 homes on two adjacent streets for not having permits. And I'm sure that when they did build it, they built it with the right permits because no one would build it otherwise. But Neighbors are now searching for decades old records for proof that permits were granted. But the city's given them just seven days to fix the problem or start paying fines. Like you're kidding. Where is this coming from? Nesbitt says she feels safer with an eight foot fence. It was a shorter fence than people could just hop over it and, or look over and see if you're home from. And she plans to keep it. Our Andre Lucia reporting tonight. Apologies for the live signal trouble, but she did want us to share with you that applying for a fence permit in Dallas costs a minimum of 100 bucks. The fine for not having a permit is over $300. The city of Dallas has a website to help answer any questions you might have regarding code compliance. You can report violations there as well if you'd like. We have put a link to it on our website. You'll find that under links and numbers in that section on CBSDFW.com.